Hey, it's Tia Bryant, and welcome to CTE Explained on City Schools TV. In this series, we dive deep into different CTE programs, talk with students, and get a real feel for what it's like. In this episode, it's all about the agriculture program at Green Street Academy. From farming tilapia, raising their own plants, and making breakfast sandwiches with eggs they get from chickens that they raise, it's all going down here. So let's go check it out. All right, so joining me here today is Chris and Chris, two of the top students of the agriculture program. So tell us a little bit about where we are right now. This is one of the agriculture classroom where we normally do projects, labs, and research on FFA or animal livestock and other lessons. In this class, we learn how to sustain plant life without certain uh, materials like soil and without direct sunlight. So is this the only part of the classroom? No, the no. other part is the kitchen across the hall. And what goes on in there? In the, every Friday we make breakfast sandwiches and we use the eggs from outside from our chickens. So let's go check it out. Hey guys, so we're currently one of the kitchens at Green Street Academy where the juniors and seniors are making breakfast sandwiches with eggs they got from the chickens. Thank you. This is an all egg sandwich especially made for me because I don't eat meat. It tastes a lot different compared to other sandwiches because the eggs are actually fresh here. So tell me a little bit about what goes on tilapia farm. With the setup here, it recycles itself using the same water. It's just pumping through 24-7 over and over refilling itself. So how do you maintain the waters in the fish tank? So we use pH strips mm -hmm. and other chemicals to make sure the water stays in seven. We would put them in the tube and go over here on the counter and test them and just find the results if they're good or not. So we mostly use high range pH or nitrate sometimes inside of it. Mm -hmm. And on the bottles, we'll say how much we add in it and we'll put the pH strip inside the tube with the water and the chemicals together to see how high or low it is. Well, right now, it's all good. The water's good. Don't have to take them out and refill them or anything. So what are we doing right now? So we're going to catch one of the yellowtail tilapia fish okay. to show you what they look like. Uh -oh. This is the yellowtail tilapia. What do you use to feed them? Um, right here in this bin, we have different types of food that we'll use on them. Once all of them are fully grown, we eat the fish fry. We sell some of them to the mm -hmm. community to eat. So with an agriculture, there's a lot of entrepreneurial activities going on too. We make our own sauces and stuff and we sell them. So do you see yourself working with agriculture as a career in your future? Yes, ma'am. I plan on going to Penn State for biotechnology. Okay. And what about you, Chris? and I do want to attend the Penn State, only because, not only because the agriculture programs they offer, but also because the engineering and technology they also offer. All right guys, so thanks for showing me down here. So where are we headed to next? We're gonna go head into one of the courtyards that the school has where we have like another greenhouse where we're growing plants just in water. Right now there's tomatoes in there. So right, check, it check it out. So tell me a little bit about what goes on in here. In here we grow tomatoes, and we use the, the tank to, uh, to make us a uh, water cycle. And it just goes from bucket to bucket to bucket, keeping the plants hydrated. And inside of the bucket is a fish that keeps the water flowing, and then we use the fish poop to help grow uh, the plants. And the panels provide sunlight for the... Yeah, so it provides, like, it traps the heat in mm -hmm. that it needs, because you can't, if it doesn't trap the heat in, it'll stay cold, and it really, it's not good for the tomato plant to grow in. All right, guys, so where are we headed to next? We're going to go head out back to the school where we have the bigger greenhouse and more of the chickens where we use the eggs for our sandwiches. All right, let's go check it out. So now we're at the chicken coop. So yep. tell me a little bit about it. This is some of the chickens. We actually bought some raised from little ones to big ones. All right, so how do you take care of the chickens? So we take care of the chickens by every, I think every month we get a very large bag of chicken food and we bring the holes for their water. Mm -hmm. But to keep them safe from outside stuff like hawks and foxes, we keep them inside of the chicken coop and the gates. All right, so now let's look for some eggs. All right, let's over here. Well, so right here, this is where the chickens come and lay their eggs when they're ready. Mm -hmm. But it's cold, so they're not ready yet. <laughs> So when they're warm, that's how you know that they're ready? Yes, when they're warm, that's the best time for them to lay eggs. Okay. So what's so fun about this part of the agriculture program? I would say my favorite because we're hands-on out here and we mm -hmm. learn new stuff about the sustainability of animals and we learn like how to keep them 
safe and stuff. So what piqued your interest in animals? Um, well, when I was younger, I had, I, I used to have a bunch of animals, like I would feed mm -hmm. the outside animals, and my, my mom hated it, but now, since I did that, I've grown a love for them, and this is my best part of my day, every day. Chris, are you interested in animals too? A little bit. I'm not big of a catching the chickens fan or picking them up, but in different type of animals, I'm more interested in. What are the plans for the agriculture program? One of the plans for our agriculture program is right over there where we have a big chunk of land at. Mm -hmm. We have a bunch of materials where we're going to build another greenhouse. The other future plans we also have is our goat pen. We already have the goats, but we also have to wait to get to raise more money so we can have students like me and Chris come out and build the pen for the goats. So we saw lots today, guys. We saw you make breakfast sandwiches, the food computers, tilapia farm, the greenhouse, the chicken coop, and the duck pen. It's all been fun. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you for coming and letting us show you what we do here at GSM. And thank you for letting us to show you the experience we have and share it with you. Thank you guys so much. That was an amazing tour of the incredible agriculture program at my school, Green Street Academy. Thanks again to Chris and Chris for giving me the tour and showing me all the ins and outs. You can watch additional episodes of CT Explained on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. This has been Tia Bryant on City Schools TV. See you in the next pathway.